Now, Peter, he's talking from experience here because Peter himself and all of the disciples, their faith was tested by fire. Uh, Jesus, in fact, it happened during Jesus' arrest, and Peter warned them, or excuse me, Jesus warned them before the arrest that they were going to be tested by fire. And it said this in Luke twenty two thirty one. This is Jesus talking to his disciples. And he said this, Satan has asked to sift each of you like wheat. But what? Say it with me. I have pleaded in prayer for you. I have pleaded in prayer for you, Simon. That's, that's Peter. He's talking directly to Peter. That what? Say it with me. Your faith should not fail. Satan's plan? to destroy the church. That's what he was wanting to do here. He was wanting to destroy the church before it even started. He wanted, Satan's plan was, I'm, I'm gonna take Jesus down, I'm gonna take his disciples down, but God's plan, because you're like, wait a minute, what? I mean, he, wait, I'm confused. God allowed Satan to sift these men. I, I, I don't get this, because here's what was happening. God knew that this test, this sifting, was actually gonna strengthen them and they were sifted. When, when Jesus was arrested in the garden, all, all of them took off. All of them fled. All of them ran. Peter shows up at the trial. When he's at the trial, they start saying, hey, do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? He's freaking out. He thinks he's going to be arrested himself. He thinks he's going to be put on trial. He thinks he's going to be uh, crucified like Jesus is going to be. And he's like, I, don't, I do not know him. They were all sifted, and he denied Jesus. But remember, what did Jesus do? Jesus prayed that their faith would not fail. What I want you to know right now is Jesus is praying for you right now. Paul tells us that in, in the book of Romans, the letter he wrote to the Roman church, he said, listen, Jesus is at the right hand of the Father, and he's pleading in prayer for you, that your, your faith would be strengthened. And Satan's sifting plan here with the disciples, it failed miserably. It didn't work. In fact, actually, the sifting strengthened the church. It strengthened the disciples. It strengthened Peter. He, he became the rock. That's what his nickname was, the rock. And, I mean, he was the rock before the rock. And, it, it, he, and here he is 30 years later, and he's still proclaiming the name of Jesus because God knows that that sifting that is happening right now for you and for me is for your good. It can actually strengthen you. I, I love to roast coffee. I, I love coffee. I, I, I'm not one of these Keurig kind of people. You know, I'm not, maybe, maybe that's you. You got up this morning and you made your little Keurig cup. Okay, you're, okay that's, that ain't a cup of coffee. I don't even know what that is. Keurig is just, I, I think that's Greek for awful cup of coffee. So, I'm a purist, so I like to actually roast my own coffee. I buy the beans and roast them. Now, I realize for some of you, you're probably like, I don't even know how coffee, all I know is I get a little cup and, and somehow I get coffee out of it. If you don't know coffee, so coffee starts actually from a cherry bean, and it's this little bean, and it's green, and you actually have to roast it, and, and that is how it becomes rich and it becomes full. And so I will roast, you actually have to burn the bean and if you don't burn the bean, you will not get the richness and the fullness of the coffee bean. And you have to burn off the chaff, the chaff, the ugly part of the bean, because that's what makes a great cup of coffee. Listen, if you want to be strengthened, you're going to have to go through the fire. 